projects that I've been working on, some of the things that I've come up with first, and then at the end of the video, I will share some of my thoughts about how this project has been going up to this point and what we'll be doing next week. So. just gave these a wash and I'm considering an idea this one this one just looks like something out of the desert I don't know if any of you ever played video games but I did back in the day and this reminds me of something out of the game mist myst I used to love that game anyway great graphics that I know that's the only reason I play them <laughs> anyway I love these pieces right here so much I also went and did this in ancient Jasper and Potter's Choice uh, I think it's going to turn out great. What I'm finding is there's a lot of air bubbles. I can't seem to fill in all of the... I, I put it on and then it sucks it up and then there's still more places that haven't been glazed. It's very porous. So... Okay, I threw these yesterday. Um, I wanted... This one was, was kind of fun. I, I played with that one a little bit. Uh, but um, I'm getting ready to trim them right now. I have quite a few white pieces, but when I lined them up, I was... Um, I had a little bit of a challenge where nothing matched the way I wanted it to. I still have some brown pieces here. Um, I have some already white stoneware pieces up here that I still have to fire, and those are a little bit more uniform for what I want to use them for. Um, and this is just sitting here because, <laughs> I'll tell you, I wasn't happy with it when I started, so I'm just setting it aside for a little while. Here's a quick tour around my my exciting mess. Um, I'm checking out glaze colors. I have my paper nailed down because I have both fans on. Um, I just started glazing something. Let me share that with you. Oh, there's all my plans of things that I'd like to do with the glaze. But here's one of the ones that I, I just finished. And it, I'll show you a picture after. I have to pull the tape off and, and, uh, and show that to you. I'm finding it's best that if I pull the tape off in the direction it's going. Uh, some of them are crisscrossed. 
so I have to be real careful. It chips off. I'm going to outline these in black, so I'm not super particular that they bled. Uh, I also, I learned a lot on this. You don't put it on the, I had black washed this first and the tape wouldn't stick. So well, I learned some lessons on this one, but I'm excited to, to see how this turned out. So. I'll put the pictures up. I took pictures instead of video, but I just want to give you a really quick live look at what it looked like before it actually started. I'm going to do five, column five, enter, speed slow, enter, hold 20 minutes, and start. It looks like a whole lot of things, a whole lot of hand building, and wheel throwing and glazing and, and pictures. I took more pictures than video uh, because um, let me just share with you my process because this is, I'm only going to do this one time and I'll write more of it in my blog than actually sharing here in a video uh, where I can take the time to sort out my thoughts. But um, at the beginning of August, I was asked to do a show with Nicole Slater at the Chartreuse Mios and um, she is a beautiful artist. I mean, her work is just wonderful. Uh, she's got degrees. She's got, has shown her work in a lot of different places. I'll let her share herself with you next time. But um, I was honored to be asked to do a show with her. Now, that also was overwhelming for me. Now, I don't even know if they know this, so I'm just going to share my honest heart right here. But um, it was really overwhelming for me because I've never put together a body of work. I've never done volume except for the 365 cuts. I don't do repetitive work. I do hand building. I do throwing on the wheel. I do it, you know, as a hobby and for fun. But I've never had a purpose where I needed to make a volume of work for any kind of event. So at first, I was blank. I had nothing. But thankfully, Nicole had some work done already. I was able to go to her studio. And she showed me her work, and we chatted about lots of different things on how we can make our, our show cohesive. We wanted to make it cohesive where it went together. Um, and I thought, since I didn't have anything yet, I was the one that could be more flexible with, um, with anything. And uh, her work was just, she doesn't need to do anything. Just keep doing your thing. That's what I, you know, she could do her thing, and I will, I can bend and flex and still remain um, creative in my own way. Uh, I needed to have that freedom to be able to make what I wanted to make uh, for the show. But I also liked having a guideline. Her artwork gave me a guideline. She had a lot of uh, natural things. Like she had vegetables, she had flowers, she had sceneries and trees. and um, That helped me out a lot, but I still needed a little bit of a theme for myself. I need a word. I'm, and I found this out because of doing this show. I need to have words to get me started in, in a certain direction. So I needed to come up with a, a word, a theme, a something I could grab onto while I'm working. It's like keep popping that word in my head. Went to my Facebook, and uh, greatest people helped me out a lot. And Kathy Newland suggested Secret Garden, Secret Garden, and I went perfect. Um, that has a lot of flexibility, a lot of places, a lot of creative opportunity. So um, to me, the, the secret garden is Eden. And there's a lot of things in Eden. And everything's fresh and new and colorful. And there's a tree in Eden, and I can do trees. I thought of a tree, that was what inspired me. So I made a plaque of a tree, and it's my little tree of life. Maybe I'll pop it in front of my face right now. I don't know. I haven't edited yet. <laughs> so um, that's kind of my goal, nature, natural. Uh, secret garden type things like even wood or bone bone would be in gar like bones and just I don't know just uh, anyway natural things so 
so now that I had my inspiration, I had to start doing things. And I had to think of the object first, the form, and then I had to think of how what I would do with it. Or I had to think of what I wanted to do, and then what kind of form would that be good on. So I started out with nothing, blank. Then I started out with way too many choices and opportunities. It's like you go to a restaurant, it's sometimes better not to have, you know, what is my favorite, one of my favorite phrases, enough is as good as a feast. I had a feast, so I was eating too much. I, w I was over full with all my ideas. Scaled it down, didn't know what to do, so I came to my studio and I started cleaning, and then just started making things. Making on the wheel, started hand building. What kind of hand building? What is my style? I wanted to make it cohesive. And I thought, well, what do I love? And I love texture on clay. I do. I love texture when you can see it clearly on clay. Uh, I like the washes. I like when something's washed. If it's and it's dark in the in the grooves, like the black wash is one of my favorite techniques to use, just because I love the way it looks. It feels like I have a uh, a place to start. I can see all the little textures and all the little imperfections and uh, the perfectly imperfect I needed. Perfectly imperfect. It had to have texture. I wanted it to be cohesive with Nicole's but independent from my creativity. And it had to revolve around Secret Garden. So those were kind of the things that were in my head. I can't wait to find out from Nicole how she's going about it. Um, how she said maybe she's more systematic. But uh, I'm looking forward to, to seeing what's inside her head and how she went about this project for her as well. So it'll be kind of exciting. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you next week. And I'll have Nicole's, I'm going to go visit Nicole Friday, so I'm going to get some questions asked of her and some answers, hopefully, on some things that will go along with uh, doing pottery work. Painting and glazing are, well, they're actually the same thing. You're just using a different... You're dipping your brush in a different bottle. That's it. So uh, looking forward to seeing her. And I uh, hope you guys come back next week. Thanks for watching.